Hard to believe what you see here was once a road in Wagner. As the water piled up, that road started crumbling. This morning and through the afternoon, those crews were working to patch up the roadways. And as Nick Veland shows us, these are just temporary solutions for a reoccurring problem. Water gushing down, damaging a road off of Cedar Creek Road in Wagner. Two days of back-to-back -back rain causing this road to crumble, creating canyons in the clay. I have been all the way up there. I mean, it's chest deep ditches up there on the upper end and uh, about knee deep all the way down here to the bottom of, of just ditches. No way vehicles can get through. Forcing neighbors to find another way out and stopping trash pickup trucks from getting in. Well, I mean, it, it's aggravating. you got to make a trip uh, five, six miles out of the way to get back over and around. But this isn't a first for this neighborhood. When we get a little bit of rain, it's a problem, but when we get several inches of rain like this, it's devastating. Today, Aiken County used 12 tons of dirt to patch the holes, a temporary solution. And we've been getting band-aids for over a year and a half now, and uh, we, need a, we need a fix. Repairs neighbors say that is just spreading dirt into lakes and ecosystems. Uh, I do get emotional about it. it uh, you know, like I said, my family, my children have enjoyed this stream and it has been a part of our life. Leaving what once was family memories, now covered in dirt. It has completely devastated my wetlands and it's destroying my property. So Aiken County invested $50,000 for repairs until they find a more permanent solution. They do have $700,000 set aside to pave the road, and they've already surveyed the land. They're in the design phase now, but they say that change will better control the water problem over there.